Hi everybody, this is my second video today and I'm gonna go through this house from some newfound friends that we showed a house to in the villages, Doug and Edgel. They're trying to sell their house to St. Cloud. I'm not sure where that is, a little bit south of Orlando. Slightly southwest, southeast, sorry. And uh, it's a beautiful home. It's a Dell Web community. From what they told us, they, uh, Dell Web recently purchased this and plans on building some more homes here. But, um, so we're gonna take a look at this. As it says here, Dell Web at Twin Lakes 55 plus community. It's gorgeous. I love the three pillar, you know, push out here they have over the front door. I love the garage door with the lights and with the, uh, the, the glass up top. It's just very pretty. The landscaping, stunning, well-maintained. And uh, so you're gonna see some things here that you probably can't do in the villages. They have a little bit more freedom. There is an HOA here. The payments are about 363 a month. Uh, taxes are about forty-eight ninety-two, and this was built in two thousand seventeen, but it's three beds, two bath, eighteen sixty-three, two sixty a square foot. So four nine one six Drawdy Court in Saint Cloud, Florida. Let's see, they need to come to the villages, so we need to help them get this house sold. It's gorgeous. So let's go inside and take a look at some pictures, because that's what we like to do, right? And. Um, First of all, the colors of the house are beautiful. If you notice, they have pavers on the driveway. And they have sidewalks in this area, which I love. I love the sidewalks. Um, so let's go through each one and see what's going on. It looks in great shape. You can tell they maintain it meticulously. This tree is gorgeous. Look at that. Okay. So it's underneath that overhang, so you can kind of hang out, get out of that 190 degree sun. Pavers all the way up to the front door, which I love. Oh, the two little windows are cute. And they have plantation shutters too. All right. I love the floor. I think this is porcelain floor from what it said. And you're gonna love their decor. I mean, the door decor, this little design of the door is stunning. Look at the ceiling, the way it's recessed here with the crown molding. It's just beautiful. They had a bunch of little art, uh, a bunch of little, uh, some dishware here, which is pretty, I'm not sure if these are staying. Maybe Doug and Edgel could post down below if they are or not. But you see here, this flows throughout the whole house. It's beautiful, look at this flooring. It's stunning, crown molding all the way through, recessed lighting. It's stunning. So you walk in this front door, you can veer off to the right here. Let's see where they take us. Into a bedroom with this amazing chandelier. Wow. That's gorgeous. Plantation shutters. Stunning floor. Pretty good sized room, actually. Here's a bathroom that I'm assuming is some kind of hallway share. That's pretty. Looks like granite. Again, they even have the bathroom crown molded. Here's another room that they're using as an office. Another beautiful chandelier. Wow, nice big closet. Huh. Now, I believe these are uh, candle sc sconces, right? I'm assuming. So you light these and they kind of shine up. Now, I don't know if they do or not. They probably don't. But they look beautiful. They could be nice decor. Okay. That desk is rocking too. Look at that. All right. All right, so we're gonna walk down the hallway a little bit, heading towards the kitchen. Over here is a laundry room. Now I think that is their walk-in closet that walks in through to their bedroom here in the back. So I think you can walk from this bedroom and we'll find out. They have a little area here too, a cabinet. could be a little coffee area. Um, but the, you can walk through the bedroom, through this huge closet, into this laundry room, which is gorgeous. So let's keep going here. Look at this couch. This is why we need to find them a 8,500 square foot house to fit this couch in. Holy cow, that's long. And look at the barn doors. If that TV is behind that, I'm going to love it. That's awesome. That's a kick butt cabinet right there. The lighting is beautiful. I love the island that it's 
normal seat height. You don't have to buy bar stools. It's actually placed like a table. It's probably about 30 inches, 20, 20, probably 27 to 30 inches. I love it. I wish the villages would do some of these. I've seen them custom and some of the villages homes where they have lowered these down. Uh, yeah, I love it. I think it's awesome. I love the fact you can just eat here and hang out. And over here, they have another table. Let's keep going. Yeah. That's beautiful. I love the I love the cabinet. Love it. Love it. This is so beautiful, this area. Huge island, double wall oven. It's gorgeous. They got gas stove. They have a hood. Vent hood, okay. You don't see them too often in the villages. Tall cabinets with the molding around the top. And look at this crown molding all the way around. Very beautiful. These are quartz countertops. Hmm. And the backsplash is gorgeous. Look at this. It goes very well with this whole layout. And the flooring, by the way. Okay, you got a sink right here in an island with a dishwasher. Pretty. A little dining room area over here. Okay, beautiful. Very nice. Very meticulous. It's gorgeous. I feel like this house could be designed for Elvis. If you ever seen his jungle room and stuff like that, this seems like a, a house that Elvis would live in with his style. It's, it's gorgeous. Beautiful sliders here. Go out to the lanai. Wait till we get to the lanai. This is the primary. Beautiful furniture, by the way. And uh, again, the floors, stunning. With these new slit windows, they're starting to use more and more. They're beautiful. And again, recessed ceiling with this beautiful chandelier. Okay, so let's go back real quick. So this is where you can walk through to the bathroom, okay? This is where we just came from, the cameraman, camera one, whoever took the pictures. Okay, they just came from this way. And we're going to walk through this way. And we should be able to hit on the other side of the kitchen in the laundry room, okay? What a gorgeous layout. Look at this. That's granite countertops. Love this walk-in shower. It's beautiful with a seat. Some built-in shelving as well. What a ton of cabinet space you got on that. And you have a door here for the toilet. Yeah. All right. Now, here's a big closet that you're going to walk into, right? So we're looking back at the bedroom. Now we're going to keep moving forward. This is a huge closet you walk into. Again, beautiful flooring. Gorgeous. Wow. This is that little area. And there could be, the only thing I would have put there is probably a plug, but it could be behind this. I'm guessing it is because this is lit up. That's gorgeous. So there's the closet. We're walking out of here, and there's the laundry room with more shelving and cabinets. Mm. Stunning. Yeah. So you can walk in, laundry, right through. So you can walk into this bedroom two ways. What a big, what a big suite for a master. That's gorgeous. Okay. Look at this lanai. It's beautiful. And a nice fan. Not $39 white fan. It's actually a nice fan. They have a huge yard here too with, with hedges. Very pretty. Wow. As you notice, stucco siding. A little paint. Yeah, stripe up here. Very subtle. 
but you notice it. All right, so here's a garage where they've sealed it. They've sealed the concrete all the way around, about three to four inches up the wall. There's their, their uh, panel box. Okay. Two-car garage. There's a backyard. Pretty good size yard. Again, very well maintained. You actually have trees here. Here it is right here. It's beautiful. I mean, there's water right there. Sidewalks on both sides of the street. As you come in, now we're going to start seeing some of the actual community itself. It's beautiful. There it is. I love the three-pillar look with the push-out over the front door. I just love it. The villages have started to do it on some of their newer models. It's just a, it's a great look. It's good to see the Del Webb doing it, or whoever was building this before Del Webb bought it. This beautiful area. Just pretty building. Hmm. Paver work is stunning. Love the stone. So these are just some of the things you can come and use, sit down, hang out. Look at this gigantic exercise facility. That's big. I think some of the things the villages probably could do better is this. Um, in the rec centers. Um, instead of having that equipment outside along a trail. Is maybe they could have more of this. That probably would be cool. This community has it. Free weights. You got your treadmills, ellipticals. You got a bunch of stuff. So this is that outdoor area you can use to cook and hang out. Probably you could also use it for parties, I'm assuming. Maybe they do have some after-hour stuff as well, if they're having some shindigs for the whole community. It's pretty cool, though. Look at these beautiful pavers, these grills. Mm. I just love seeing different. I mean, what a great view, right? Sitting here hanging out watching TV with a beautiful view. Cool. Let's go to the pool. Here's tennis courts. Nice. I don't see too many basketball courts in the villages, but here it is. Here, they have one. Nice. Walkway down to the to the water. It's gorgeous. Hmm. It's pretty. Community pool. Florida's so beautiful sometimes. It's just gorgeous. You can tell very well maintained this community and the house. Huh. Wow, look at that. I am telling you folks, there are some other choices. These guys have been here for a while. They want to get back up near the villages. This place is stunning. Wow. So, if anybody's looking for a place a little bit south of Orlando, not in Orlando, it's south of Orlando, take a look at this. I mean, I'm just blown away by the by this house and the d decor of it. It's it's beautiful. And, um, you know, maybe <clears throat> this is something that you guys might be interested in. Or somebody you know is looking in these communities down here. I've had some people reach out to me over the last probably six or seven months looking in these areas. And I would take a look at this house. This thing is stunning. <clears throat> you don't have cheap lighting. You have beautiful decor. I mean, even if you removed all the furniture, all the paintings, everything, this house is still gorgeous. They've done an amazing job decorating it, but it takes a lot of talent to do that. Um, and even if you took all this out, this house and the choices of color, flooring, backsplash, is so well picked out that this house is just beautiful. And of course, you know, this couch is gigantic. So hopefully we can find them a home in the villages that are big enough to fit this baby. Holy cow. 
Now, I just love this huge island. It's an oversized island. It's stunning. And I like the fact that it's counter depth, uh, counter height. So it's like about 30 inches. I just love it. So you can use regular chairs, sit there, hang out. Um, so think about this, man. Look at this house. This house is stunning. You guys have done a great job with this. 485, three bed, two bath, 1,863 square feet. 4916, Drawdy Court, St. Cloud, Florida. Zip code 34772. Sitting at 260 a square foot, you got, uh, it's built in 2017. It's only seven years old. Taxes sit at about 4,800. Again, this is, uh, let's look at some of these notes. Seller making center buyer concessions, yes. It's the Dell Web at Twin Lakes 55 plus community. From the front porch featuring two remote controlled ceiling fans to the screen enclosed 15 by 23 lanai. You will fall in love with the features. I agree. It's got some beautiful um, options in it. There are three pendant lights above the upgraded quartz countertops with extended island. Yep. Kitchen also features a large pantry, stainless steel appliances, beautiful uh, tile backsplash, a gas uh, cook's top with four burners, a new faucet, custom vented hood. Man, ample size living room features a remote controlled ceiling fan and three sliding glass pocket doors with battery operated power blinds. Power blinds are not cheap. This closet flows through the laundry room from the main room. It does. This is beautiful. So it says here 10 foot ceilings and 8 foot doors, 6 by 24 porcelain plank flooring in every room. Porcelain planks, not that vinyl. Five and a quarter inch baseboards, rocker panel light switches, ADT security system. That was that blue little panel you saw on the wall just coming outside of the laundry room. The garage includes a pull down attic stairs flooring for additional storage. Okay, so you can store stuff in the attic. Shark coating on the floor. That's garage floor. The community includes a resort style pool, lap pool, and cabana with grills. A third pool on the carriage house side, 20,000 square foot clubhouse, an amenity center, center, spacious gathering room, including a game room with billboards, poker room with card tables, art room with kiln, commercial kitchen, and a class demo area. State of the art fitness center, a fitness center is stunning. It's probably one of the biggest complaints I have with the village is, you know, those big, those big centers, rec center, really should have a, a big area like this. Outdoor activities include tennis, pickleball, boat, uh, bocce ball, and basketball court, putting green, walking trails, fishing, kayaking, canoeing. Pontoon boats and John boat to use on Live Oak Lake. Wow. This place is gorgeous. Let's see the map. So here, you, there's Live Oak. There's a community here. Let's see if we can zoom in. Yeah, that's gorgeous. All right. So let's see where... Uh, Orlando is. That's up here. So you're on the outs outskirts of Orlando. ton of water around. Beautiful. Right on 192 here. Right off it. There's Kissimmee. God, what a beautiful place. So if anybody's interested in a house down in St. Cloud, St. Cloud, Florida, 4916. This is the one I highly recommend at 485000 And if you make them a great deal, they might even give you the couch. Because I don't know if they can move it. That thing is so big. But everybody reach out. Everybody share, spread. Let us know what you think. This is a beautiful community. And uh, everybody have an awesome day. And uh, I will talk to you soon. If you have a house you want me to review in other areas, not just the villages, please let me know. I'll be happy to do it on a platform. And um, let's get Doug and Edgel a place in the villages. We need to sell their house. Everybody have a rocking day. We'll talk to you soon.